Welcome back to another edition of Unsanctioned Fabrication. It's been a while since I actually produced a video of pure awesomeness, and you know what, it's probably not gonna be today that I'm gonna do that either. But you know what, I wanted to show you guys my coolest little uh, gadget I built. So this little scissor lift table is was built specifically for lifting heavy parts, but more or less it was for me to transfer dies in and out of my press brake. So I wanted to be able to roll this guy over, drop it down to the height, slide my die over, drag it out, raise it up, load it in. Now, that's just a process in itself if one guy wants to do it, but it can be done, and it can be done with this. Now, so I could have put a big wheel on here, I could have put a crank, I could have put all kinds of things I want on here, but I wanted the top surface to be flat, just for other options or other uses, so if I wanted to, we'll get a crescent wrench on here, or get yourself a cordless impact. This guy will you know, drive like all hell. So, check this out. Now she'll almost lay flat, but I'm not gonna go all the way flat because I didn't design it to go all the way flat. I designed it because of all the linkage in here. You can only go down so far, so I'll, my minimum is 14 inches for this. Now, it all depends on how long your cross bracing is, depends on how high you lift. I'm not giving out prints on this thing, so guys don't ask, but you could definitely steal my design. I don't care, there's no patent on it. So check out my maximum now. Now, depending on how high I want to come, I can bring this to where these things are almost vertical, but the front end's going to drop. So I don't want this cross the roller to actually pass center. Otherwise, it, I just don't feel safe with it. So I try to put a stop at this thing around 34, 35 inches in height. To one side, I welded two tabs, allowing me to basically just throw a bolt through. And you can see here, just nut and bolt. These wheels are just good old cast iron wheels, no bearings, no bushings. So just keep them oiled up. It's not like this thing rolls fast. So I don't really need to worry about lube like that. Just keep it oiled. Now, two inch by half inch uh, flat bar, actually, I'm sorry, two by three eighths flat bar. That is not half inch thick. This is two and a half by two and a half by, by 316 angle iron. My max load capacity on this, I was guessing at around 800 pounds. I do not want to overload it for that. Again, things start getting dangerous. This was just a homemade job. I could always buy my own but uh, and pay a few hundred for one, but figured we can make our own, why not? Threw a couple tubes in there just to hold its rigidity. And yeah, more or less just threw all thread in, very simple materials, very simple everything. But top and bottom frame are exactly the same. It was where I spaced my pads based off of how big my X was, uh, the cross bracing. As you can see, it's a very simple mechanism. I got a three quarter inch all thread. I got a three quarter inch heavy wall nut welded to the angle iron. That is what actually is attached to wheels. And you can see all my linkage and bolts there. These I actually was planning on having as retainers that are not tightened on the angle, but just so it could spin freely and retain on the angle. But actually it doesn't even need that. This thing's been operational without these. Only thing is because it's gravity pushes down, pushing this outward, everything has actually got pressure on it. There's always pressure on it. So really, this could probably just be a sleeve on here just to kind of retain it. This nut is always pressing up against here and there's always friction, so just make sure you have a good bearing, a good thrust, thrust washer on there. These, I was actually planning on having one as a stop, so as this draws up to it, it I could actually limit its stop. Now, when I did that the first time, the thing actually jammed itself and it was really difficult to break it loose again. So I might want to think of another way. Maybe I'll just put a blocker, you know, a tab in here, just a physical stop rather than jamming the threads. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm not giving out plans, so don't ask for plans or measurements. Build your own. And obviously if you're watching this, you already probably know how to. So guys, thanks. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Later.